What's up everyone? Steve Cook here with Iron Man Magazine. We're at Metro Flex Gym in Long Beach, California. It is a hot one. But we're gonna get some amazing footage today, doing some cover, cover tries, going inside, working out, messing around with all this awesome equipment. Like how many other gyms do you guys know that have everything from strongman powerlifting, Olympic lifting, bodybuilding, you name it, they got it. It's like a, it's like a playground for fitness people. So we're gonna have fun today. Steve Cook, coming at you. What's up guys, Steve Cook here. We are at Metro Fitness in Long Beach, California here with Iron Man Magazine. We just got done shooting the cover, shooting an awesome spread, so hopefully you guys like it. Make sure you check it out. Follow Iron Man on all of their social media outlets. So, you know what? I love functional training, doing things I suck at. You know, how I stay motivated at the end of the day, and it's, motivation's the name of the game, but how I stay motivated is by always trying something new, setting a new goal. Goals are so important, long-term and short-term. The short-term goal, goals are gonna allow you to, to hit those short-term uh, milestones, and when you do, that keeps you going. It keeps you feeling good. You've just hit that, you know, you set a goal for next week. You wanna improve your bench press by five pounds, or you want to drop a body fat percentage, or drop maybe one pound in body fat. You hit those goals, and it feels good. So those short-term goals all of a sudden start adding up, start snowballing pretty soon, you've achieved your long-term goals, whatever that is. So what I like to do is when I set a long-term goal, I like to, let's say it's a year. A year from now, I want this. And I list out everything I want. It could be physical, could be performance, and then I backtrack. And I make sure, okay, in, in eight months, here's where I need to be. In six months, and four months, and one month, and then from there, you just follow, follow the plan. What happens when you have setbacks? Um, you know, setbacks are part of the game. You know, they're part of life. When you have setbacks, it's always important to stay positive. I can't tell you how, how important positive, a positive mental attitude is. And I know that sounds cheesy, guys, but at the end of the day, setbacks are gonna happen whether you want to or not. Setbacks are gonna, gonna happen you know, when, at times when we least expect them. But the difference, I think, between a winner and a loser is somebody who accepts what happens, takes full ownerships of that setback. Maybe you, know, you went out and you splurged, you cheated on your diet or whatnot, own it take responsibility for it, and then what you do from there is you vow or you, you make a goal to stay more accountable to yourself. You rededicate, you re-baptize you re, um, baptize yourself, if you will, in that, that passion for why you started. And that passion as to why you started usually comes from one of two places. There's internal motivation and extrinsic. So there's intrinsic, which comes from inside, it comes from uh, your lifelong goals your mission statement, who you are as a person. That's an intrinsic motivation. Your extrinsic is things from outside sources, like a magazine cover. That's an extrinsic motivation for me to want to get in shape. What, what makes me want to live a healthy lifestyle usually comes from my, my moral being who I am. What, what makes me unique um, is, is that what comes from inside. What the best just to be me, whether it's, whether it's in, you know, playing when I was playing football, bodybuilding, um, 
Instagram, Twitter, you know, I want to be the best me I can be. And that involves having goals and involves motivation. And again, that extrinsic motivation, like having a magazine, having a contest, those are all great things, but they're it's short term. And it, we talked about short term goals. You need to have those. But again, you have to have that mission statement, which is your roles and goals for the future for life. Who do you want to be? And it's never too early to start thinking about that. I know a lot of you out there are probably 18, 19, 20, wanting to get into the fitness industry. If I could tell my, my 18 year old self one bit of advice, it would be to have that, that long picture in mind. Begin with the end in mind. Like what do you want to be in 10 years? You can't just be living for the moment. You know, when you live for the moment, you get caught up in things like going out and partying, like spending all your money on, on, on stupid shit. You get caught up in, you know, in the, in the wrong things. Things that are gonna take you away from what you ultimately want. So defining your purpose in life, defining what you ultimately want, and staying that course, once you have that, I'm not gonna say it's not easy to get distracted, but once you have that, that stake in the ground as to who you are and what you wanna be, those times that uh, you start you fall down you fall down or you falter you get up and you keep going because you have that internal motivation to be that ultimate best self that you've set forward so you know for me again at the end of the day that's to be somebody out there that i want to bring as many people in and make them feel like part of a family make them feel like you know this guy is pretty pretty attainable he if he did it i can do it He's not trying to be all better than anyone else out there. He's not trying to, to go forward and, and say, look at me, look what I can do, you guys can't do this. That's not what I want to be about. You know, I, I love it when people say, Steve, because, because of you, you know, I, I lost 60 pounds. Yeah, it's cool to like, get in great, crazy shape, but it's even better when someone changes their life, that, that internal person of who they are, because of, of, of something that you've helped them put out and do. And, and again, you know, I, I'm blessed to be, I feel very fortunate to be in a position where you know, I'm able to travel the world and get in front of people, um, to be on magazines like Iron Man. But at the end of the day, like, you know, it is, it's you guys out there that is the only reason I get to do what I do is because of people out there that, that watch um, what I do, that follow, that follow things like Iron Man magazine. And at the end of the day, it's like, I want it to be a family because without that, that really that friendship, that communication in the whole fitness industry, um, you know, it's, it's really not real, hap real true happiness. So that's kind of where I stuck my, my um, long-term goals. I want it to be something that's about health, about happiness. And you know, the last, for this last competition, I was kind of getting away from that long-term goal. So what I wanted to do is, is take a step back, still do shoots, still have a hell of a lot of fun training, make a ton of videos, but really talk about the roles and goals of my life and what I want it to be. And you can do that no matter who you are or where you're at in life. You can always look to improve on somebody else's. So. That's Steve Cook here from Iron Man magazine shoot, cover shoot, hopefully. We took a lot of great images today. Um, super hot out here, so we just gotta get through it. But thank you guys so much. Make sure you pick up your copy of Iron Man magazine. And I'm Steve Cook.